Halloween. I often talk about how discipline's a fallacy. That's because I truly believe that structure is more important to losing weight than actually gritting your teeth and bearing it. However, Halloween might be one of those occasions where you truly do need to be disciplined. Regardless how well you prepare, you're gonna be surrounded by candy for days on end. Let's talk about three things. One, there are no magic foods. Having a piece of candy will not cause you to gain fat, and it will not cause you to stop losing fat. It's portions, it's how much candy in total you eat or how much food in total you eat combined. It's not one single piece of candy. Two, are you capable of eating a single piece of candy? Maybe you're a complete sociopath. You can reach it in and only have one handful of peanut M&Ms. I cannot, I will eat the entire bag of peanut M&Ms. You need to know yourself. Are you capable of having a piece of candy without binging? If you can't, you can't have any candy. That has to be your firm's line in the sand. If you can, if you can have a single piece, then track it and just move the hell on with your life. Three, it's much easier if you only keep candy around that you don't like. When you go to the store and you self-select, if I love Snickers, if I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, then don't buy those, buy Kit Kat bars. The same is true when your kids bring home one of your favorite candies. Make sure that it mysteriously disappears at night. I'm dead serious. Don't keep candy around that you absolutely love. Those are my three keys for surviving Halloween.